show you how to make a simple aura in which we're going to use a, a trigger image which is a diagram or picture that's unlabeled the overlay is going to be some labels and then we're going to add a hyperlink so that when we tap the aura it's going to take us to some rich digital content so the image that I've chosen is one for my year sevens they're going to have to learn how to uh, how to label a typical compound optical microscope and I found a nice picture on Google Images just here so what I'm going to do I'm going to download that to my downloads and then let's just import that into something like Keynote something we can use to to label up the different parts of the microscope I'm totally on Mac uh, but I'm sure you'll find something similar on, on Windows I'm going to put that nice and central and I'm going to start labeling this up with some text boxes. Now, I don't like that text, so I'm going to change it, something more interesting. And let's also make that a little bit more visually engaging as well. Let's make all the text orange, and let's put a box around our labels. So these ones look quite nice and clean. So, uh, let's get started. Let's label this. So, at the top we've got the eyepiece lens. Probably better make these a little bit smaller. We can resize these once we get inside um, the Erasmus Studio. I'm just copy and paste a couple of these. Uh, let's have the objective lens, which is going to be over here. Uh, let's just batter a few more of these. The stage is quite nice. Let's have a look. Course, focus wheel. There we go. And then fine focus wheel. Move that over here. Oh, I'm in the way of it here. Never mind. And this is going to be the light source. Just down. Let's put that here. Okay. Um, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of this area here and but before I do that, I should really add some, some arrows onto this. So let's add some arrows, make sure we're labelled up nice and clearly. Let's make those a little bit thicker so we can see what we're actually pointing at. And probably probably better change those to orange so they'll show up just a little bit better. So the stage is going to be there. Uh, let's copy and paste these arrows and move them around just a bit. So there's our light source. Very nice. And what else have we got here? The fine focus wheel is always the small one. The rough focus wheel is the larger one. The eyepiece lens is where you put your eye, so let's put that there. The objective lens is the one where we can select the different magnification. There we go. And I think that should probably just about do it. Um, now it's a case of taking a screenshot. Let me just move this webcam shot out of the way so I don't get in the way. Uh, I'm also going to delete the image, crucially, uh, because we don't want the image in the overlay, otherwise it'll look ridiculous. So, on Mac it's dead easy. You can just grab a screenshot of any given selection. I'll bring me back in the shot there. And that's going to take uh, that over to the desktop. See a little screenshot over here. Um, I should probably also move my microscope image onto the desktop. Then I'm going to show you how to use this really cool website. It's called Clipping Magic. So we're going to go to www.clippingmagic.com. There we go. Uh, this is a really great tool for removing backgrounds from objects, so uh, from images. So it's really, really nice uh, for making uh, a transparent overlay, which is especially useful in, in Erasma. So let's drag and drop that over here. Nice and straightforward. Now all this is a case of doing is selecting with the little green tool what you want, so the orange stuff, and getting rid of what you don't want, which is anything else. So here we go. Just go through and do all of this, all of this. Yeah, there we go. So what's that's done is it's deselected all the background, got rid of that. It's nice and transparent now, and all the labels, they're still and they're still um, visual or visible. So all I'll do, I'll hit download and download result. And there, if we open that up, we've got a nice, a nice clear, uncluttered, um, transparent background overlay. 
Uh, there's a bit of a mess up down here, but we won't worry about that too much for the purposes of this. You can correct that. It's not too big a deal, but it just means doing the whole thing again. So let's have a little look. So the next step uh, is to go to the Erasmus Studio, which you can find at studio.erasmus.com. Com. Now you will need to sign up for this service, but it is completely free, um, and you can even get developer uh, a developer account for free as well. If you there's a little link at the bottom. If you're not already a developer, you can just email and they'll give you they'll give you the full the full shebang. It's a really really great service. So I'm going to log in, and we're brought to the the Orasma, um Studio. There's a tutorial that's really quite useful, um, but we we don't need that. You've got me. So first thing to do is add a trigger image. This is what Orasma is going to pick up on and sense. Um, it's going to trigger the overlay. So here we go, we're going to add a new one and we're going to call it Microscope Trigger. Uh, I'm going to choose the training image, which is going to be on my desktop. There it is. Let's just choose that. And just press Save and that'll upload it and it's there. Dead straightforward, there we are, nice. Um, what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to mask out certain regions. You don't, you don't have to do this, um, but this just tells Erasmus, don't look in these places. Uh, there's no image there. There's no point hunting around for an image to trigger from because there's nothing there. And the closer you you mask, the more you mask out around your image, uh, the better tracking you'll get. So the the more closely your aura um, will be will be matched up with the the overlay and and the trigger image. So it's worth spending a little bit of time doing that. Not too much, obviously. There we go. And that'll do quite nicely. So I'll save that. That's quite nice. Uh, I'll get rid of that. And the next step to do, the next thing to do, I'm going to add the overlay. So that's going to be the labels with the transparent background. So wait for this to load up. And all you're going to do, you're going to hit Add New. Or add, give it a name, so Microscope Labels. I'm going to choose the type of overlay. You can have videos, you can have images, you can have web pages, you can have 3D models. For this one, it's just nice and straightforward. It's an image. I'm going to browse for that, and lo and behold, there it is. Upload that, and press save. Brilliant. Done. So final stage is to bring those two parts together, the, the overlay and the trigger. And that creates an aura. So I'm just go add a new aura. I'll call it Microscope Labels. I'm going to choose the trigger image from the list. So once those loaded, I can just search and just go Microscope. There we go. I'm going to add it to whichever channel I want. I, am, I have more than, more than one. Uh, I'm just going to add it to Mr. Pollock's channel. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to put any time restrictions on because I want my students to be able to access it whenever. don't want to limit their learning. I'm going to add an overlay. Uh, where are we? And once this is loaded again, I can just search, I can type microscope, oops, microscope. There we are. Now you notice it doesn't quite line up, so what I'll have to do is a little bit of rearranging, just stretch this to make sure that it's labelling the correct places on the diagram. It may look a little bit fuzzy in this window, but trust me, as soon as it gets into Erasma, it will be crystal clear. So, uh, yeah, that, that'll do quite nicely. Maybe a little bit more that way. There we go, that'll do lined up. For the purpose of this demo, it's fine. Um, and you can just press save now and, and that would that would be it done. But we're gonna take it that little bit further. So we're gonna say, okay, uh, we're gonna add an action to that overlay. And we're gonna choose from this list, overlay is tapped, double tapped, faded in, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I'm gonna choose when an overlay is tapped, okay? And the default action for that is to load a URL. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find, do a little bit of Googling. So label, uh, let's have a look. Uh, key stage three, microscope. So just about finding something that would be worthwhile for the, students, uh, for the students to look at. And I think probably the best thing is if we can find how to use a microscope. So let's have a little look. It's quite nice, maybe a little bit large, large thing to link to for year sevens, but let's go how to use a microscope, how to focus a microscope, that might be good, how to focus a 
microscope. Ah, e how you can't beat e how now and then. There we go. Not as visual as I might like. Sometimes it takes a little bit of hunting around um, to find something. Ah, this that might do. That's a guide on how to use a microscope. That'll do for the purpose of this. So we're going to link that. All oh, it's a case of doing is copying the URL down to here and then hitting save. And, and really, that's it. Once you've done that, you just need to um, load up Erasma, scan the trigger image, and, and it, should, it should load just fine. Okay, thank you very much. Take care.